show me now. I need you to be clear. Yeah. Without a doubt, Nigerian alternative R&B singer Terms is the hottest female artist in the Afrobeat music industry at the moment. With a unique voice, sound and vibe that no one can resist, she is not just a strong contender among top female Nigerian artists like Yemi Aladi, Tiwa Savage, Waji, Niniola, Tenny and others but a shining star among them. The beautiful singer who chose to redefine music careers for female Nigerian artists by not promoting a music with sex or a body first caught the attention of Nigerians in 2018 after releasing a debut single, Mr. Rebel. Blown away by how she introduced herself, Nigerians immediately fell in love with both her and the song, making it an instant hit. She would later follow up with Lukuluku and Try Me to cement her place as a talented music star and in our a legion of fans who call themselves Rebels. However, the turning point of her career came in October 2020 following the release of of Essence, a collaboration song she did with Afrobeat superstar Wizkid. It has become a US summer vibe and a favorite song of top celebrities in America and Africa, as well as Europe. Terms is currently trending on Twitter as a new song continues to top both local and international charts. 11 months after Essence's release, Terms became the first female Nigerian artist to make it to the Billboard Hot 100 chart. As Essence debuted at number 82 on the international chart in July, this is also not forgetting that Barack Obama, ex president of the United States, listed the song as one of his favorite music of 2020. Right now, it's safe to say that Terms has finally arrived at stardom and got the whole world listening. This begs the question who is the real Terms? What inspired a debut single? When did she start a music career? How did she come about a unique sound? And lastly, what is the untold story of her rise to stardom? Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. Early Live 26-year-old Nigerian singer, songwriter and producer Timila De Okweni, professionally known as Terms, was born on June 12, 1995 to a Nigerian mother and British Nigerian father in Lagos, Nigeria. When she was three years old, her family relocated to the UK. Sadly, her parents divorced when she was five years old and she was forced to move back to Nigeria with her mother and brother. First, they lived in Ilupeju before moving to Lekki Phase 1 and later Aja, where she completed a primary school education. She would later complete a secondary school education in Doan College before proceeding to a university in Johannesburg, South Africa, where she earned a first degree in economics in 2016. Speaking with The Fader, Terms revealed that she has always been into music. Her earliest songwriting was at the age of six. Her mother had a poem book and she got her inspiration from it. She, however, became more interested in music after watching Beyonce on the Pepsi Countdown show at the age of seven and only took that interest seriously when she was in high school. She was reticent and didn't have many friends, so she would sneak into the music room to spend a break period. Sadly, she didn't believe in her own voice. Terms once thought her voice was too heavy for a girl and because of this, she sang more mostly with her falsetto until a music teacher helped train her. The first song she ever learned to sing properly is Alicia Keys' If I Ain't Got You at the age of 12. She would later join a church choir at age 17 and got better at singing. According to the beautiful singer, she loved listening to Disney child Lil Wayne who she described as her idol, Adele, Aaliyah, Lauren Hill, Asha and Bonner Boy. Tem started her imaginary concert from her brother's room. She and her brother, who plays the guitar, would have mini concerts in his room, listening, singing and dancing to various genres of music, including rock, a brother's favorite. Thames recorded her first song after she met someone in the choir who invited her to a studio session. After the studio session, she realized she wanted to make music professionally but there was still one more hurdle to jump, earning a first degree. While her mother was keen about going to the university, Thames wanted to drop out, so she began to sabotage her chances of gaining admission. Whenever her mom applied to schools on her behalf, she wouldn't inform her about the emails the school sent her until the deadline has elapsed. Eventually, her mom was able to get her into a school in South Africa where she studied economics. 
Due to her busy school schedule, she couldn't make music or perform like she wanted until she met with the producer who did her only show in South Africa. Once, she opened for South Africa artist Kaspar Novest, then she was still using her real name and performed with a guitar. Few months after working a digital marketing job that she hated, she said goodbye to the corporate world and started making music again at the age of 23 in 2018. She admitted that it was very hard starting from nothing and keeping up with the bills that she had to pay. She first reached out to different producers but they all either wanted something else or she didn't have the amounts they were demanding. So, one day, she decided to learn how to produce music herself, watching videos on YouTube. She said, I'm still not like the best but I know what I want and I know the vibe. I know the secret formula to myself which other people don't know. Following months of doubting her talent and if Nigerians would appreciate her sound, she put up a video of herself singing on Instagram. Many people reached out to her, including Audio, two guys who allowed her to use their studio. Come July 2018, Thames released a debut single, Mr. Rebel. A song she said was inspired by frustration and what she thought was the worst song she ever recorded. Nigerians however begged to differ as they became hooked to the song almost immediately, making it an instant hit and gaining terms popularity in the Nigerian music scene. In 2019, she followed with Try Me and Luku Luku, both of which became hit songs and this is how she began to write her name in gold in the Nigerian music industry. She gained a legion of fans who called themselves Rebels, became one of the most talked about female talents in the Afrobeat music scene and soon began getting nominations for awards. In 2019 alone, she was nominated for the Hedy's Award category, Best Vocal Performance and Best Alternative Song. Although she didn't win any of these awards, she proved to Nigerians that she was still a winner after releasing the EP for Broken Years featuring Damages and These Days. Damages that have garnered over 6 million views on YouTube picked at number 6 on Turntable Top 50 chart, giving her more popularity enough to be listed by DJ Edu as one of the 10 artists to look out for in 2020. American singer Khalid recruited both her and David O on the remix of his song, Know Your Worth. Again in 2020, Terms was nominated for several awards including City People Music Award 2020, next rated for the Hedys nominated and the Future Award Africa gave her a prize for music. After two solid years of making music professionally, Thames finally got a breakthrough as she featured on Whiskey's hit song, Essence, which has now become the biggest song from his Made in Lagos 2020 album. From Africa to Europe, America and even Australia, celebrities worldwide have all confessed it is their favorite song. And for months since its release, Terms alongside Whiskey has been trending on social media. With a rise in the Afrobeat music industry, Thames has now been nominated for the Best Breakthrough Act by the 2021 MTV Africa Music Award and Best New International Act at the upcoming BET Awards. Speaking on why her music is so unique, Thames revealed that she stopped listening to every other artist just to find her own sound when she decided to make music professionally. She said, I didn't want to be fake. I didn't want to sound like someone else. Why would you want to copy someone else when you could be original? It doesn't make sense. You can never do your best by copying someone else. It means you are second hand. Terms, who is fast becoming the queen of Afrobeat and alternative R&B, has also revealed that she loves to make music that helps free toxicity from people's lives and helps them feel new again. Now that she has got the whole world listening, Terms, in several interviews, has promised to dish better songs with great lyrics, sounds and better vibes. Do you agree that a sound is unique and with the feature on Essence, she has got the whole world listening? Would you say Terms is fast becoming the queen of Afrobeat and alternative R&B and among other female artists in Nigeria, Terms is a shining star? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. 
If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss all the best ones. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.